going on you guys? This is Hyperion Blue GT and welcome back to the GT League on Gran Turismo Sports. So, looks like 200 wins on the GT League and now looks like this is going to be quite excellent to get ready to go back to the Lamborghini Cup to be able to have a total win by 202. So, it looks like this will be able to have to get ready for it. So, it looks like we have race number 6 is Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia. Grand Prix Playout and race number 7 is Tokyo Expressway South in the loop. So looks like this is going to be able to have a quick check to see that the Lamborghini Countach's 25th anniversary is now permitted to enter the event. So it looks like this will be quite very good to be able to have be added up for a main rival car this first. So it looks like for today's part, so this will be able to have to get ready to bring out the Lamborghini Countach 25th anniversary 1988 so looks like this is going to be quite very excellent to be able to get ready for one retro supercar race challenge with other Lamborghinis including the Finio. so this will have to keep an eye here for checking up for a list of starting grids to be able to get started all right looks like there's the Countach the Benator, and looks like 25th anniversary model is in starting grid so this is going to be perfect excellent perfect and now looks like this is going to be quite very excellent so maybe this will might be able to have to check on for some settings so looks like i might be able to take a little practice and then this will might be able to have some good performance to see it so the max horsepower is 449 max torque is 363 weight is 3,285 and the drivetrain is MR so this is going to be compared to the original Countach so this is going to be quite excellent so looks like got everything set up for a fully customized transmission gear if I only have 5 gears so this will might need to have some good adjustments to be able to get started for so it looks like I'm just definitely able to test it out so this might be able to have a good a good choice to be able to work out for it now let's just gonna have to get this for a better upgrade to be able to adjust the weight reduction so this will might be able to light it up on it now this will might be able to get started so looks like the end category is the 500 type so this is going to be quite good now this will might need to have to level up the Countach to be able to speed up on it so this will might be able to have a good adjustment will be able to have some good performance to be quite getting simple for. So looks like time to get ready to go and looks like two finios on the starting grid list so looks like I have to be very prepared so looks like this one might be able to speed up. So looks like it's time to race number six and then this wheel might be able to get started by now. So looks like I have to do my best and then this will be now, take a good look at this interior view because this is going to be quite very classic and this is going to be quite very dangerous. But before that, I'm about to be approaching in onto the original Queen Touch, so this is going to be quite a good look at it. So, just a different thing. So, if you look on it, just quite a good race, and then this will be quite very good. So, by having an updated version of the Lamborghini Countach from five years ago in the 1980s, so this is definitely quite a very classic for having a heavy anniversary edition model of the Countach. So, originally, the first Countach was definitely designed in the 1970s, so this is definitely the first car classic and was definitely made by the Lamborghini. Now, this is going to be quite very good for uh, two to be in the game, and this is going to be quite very excellent to be able to have a good choice for it. So, this might be able to look around, so looks like this is going to be quite having silver and white in this interior view, just going to be able to look around for it. So, maybe this is going to be quite excellent be able to have the full touch for it so it's definitely part of the second part of the March 2019 update along with the use of the Formula race car. 
Now, looks like we're getting a good top of this race. So, looks like the Lamborghini Benio is about to be prepared to make its big push to be able to get in onto the lead. So, looks like I had to catch up before everything is about to get a little bit tougher to be able to do the expected. So, looks like this is going to be quite very easy and simple for it. So, it looks like I'm about to be catching up to the Benio to make my chance to do a better overtake trap I might be able to get a good chance on for. Right. Finally overtake the hypercar and then this will keep going forward. Now looks like 13 second gap to go and this is gonna be doing much better because we think I just taking the first step for better practice to be able to race an M4. Now just gonna have a better turn to be able to way to go. Now, looks like gonna have to get a better way to be able to have good improvements coming up and this rule might be able to make it go faster for it. So, join me like the Lemony and Benzor and Hiracon. So, this is gonna be quite very good speed that I recommend upgrades to be able to speed up for it. Soon got the 25th anniversary is gonna be quite very good to be able to speed up. So, might be able to get a good weight reduction to be able to make it improve lighter for it. Okay, just gonna keep it up and then hope it takes the yellow of Venator. Okay, just gonna have to stay on it and then make the attempt at right turn. So, for this part, I'll be able to have to use the Lemonade Tool on the 25th anniversary edition of this event. This is gonna be quite very perfect to be able to get started for. Now, looks like coming in for it, just gonna have to do a little bit tough to gain. Make your way in over to the next lap, and this is gonna be doing just okay. Now, looks like third lap is gonna be on the halfway mark, and this is gonna be able to do it just fine. So, looks like only two lemon left to go and this is going to be the bring the Kuntan 25th anniversary position to be able to go on the first place lead mark to be able to go on board. Just going to keep it up and then this will might be able to get a good chance to have an easy going improvement to be able to make it go faster. Okay, four years going in, just going to have to make that turn on the move to the layout. Might be easy to do a massive trick. Five second gap remaining. So, looks like this is going to be quite coming well. So, it's definitely easy to be able to make a good strong improvement. So, this will stay on the M500 category. But this is going to be quite very successful. Same thing like the Ferrari 458 Italian, the Lafayette Cavalino, and also the F50 engine. Race number seven. Well, I think I'm just always going to make this last time for this race because this is going to be quite very different for the Lamborghini Cup. Okay, coming in for it. Take a little bit of close close. Okay, well, that was a close call. Now, it looks like this is going to be keep going on for it. Well, I can't believe it. I'm going to go close. Maybe this will be better to be if I have to do the early breaking point as needed. Now, it looks like the Lamborghini and Panasaur are definitely going to be keeping going on for it. Just going to have to stay focused and then this will might be the bearing up for some time. Okay, coming in. Just going to have to make the fourth lap come in. This will be that I have two laps to go. So I hope this is going to be a fair time for it. Alright, just going to have to make one step in on the first turn. Now, looks like giving one better weight to be able to have a better improved car for the first time to get there in the anniversary turn. 
itself. It also shows the different models between the two classes. The original and the anniversary model was definitely quite became both popular and also the main. Now it looks like this is gonna be keep coming in for it. Watch this and take me inside the turn. Now looks like this will be the keep it up for it. Only one limit we need to go. So this is gonna be quite challenging to be able to overtake all the Lamborghinis on the Sinton Fifth and Mercury model. This is gonna be able to do a lot of tuning that we would like you to have to increase horsepower and weight reduction as needed to get more faster and cool. Now this time this is gonna be able to have a better turn to be able to keep it in for it. Okay, very good. Just stay on it and just uh, sign things up for it. Now, looks like this is going to be easy to overtake the two Benetors. Now, luckily, the Benetors will be coming back in soon. So, looks like it might be able to keep the throttle going and you know, turning back on it. Because this is going to be quite tougher to be able to be prepared. A classic supercar versus a hypercar model vehicle is going to be quite very tougher to be able to be prepared. So, both. This one might be able to have a better card that might be needed to be challenged to Benio so we can just prepare ourselves. Now, it's like a bit lap might be coming in for it. Just gonna have to stay focused and keep going. Just gonna have to take only one second gap for me. Okay, that's gonna be quite coming closer for it. Might be able to take a little bit better to keep it in. I'm trying to back away from it. I'm just trying to keep pushing forward. Easy going turn. Now, looks like this one might be able to save up the distance that might be needed for. Alright. Very technical corners on the apex, very perfect, and then it's going to be able to have the corner to be able to stay on it. Alright, here we go. Just going to have to keep dropping until this room might be able to have the next corner to be going in, and then giving one further approach, we will be able to save it in until the break will come. Now, this is going to be an excellent card that might be able to do the work on this event. So, very good for the Kuntaj 25th anniversary to be added in as the main rival to this. So, looks like this will be my team for, for the Ferrari event. So, this will be my team to have the F50 for this. So, this will be my team to change it up on it. So, looks like here comes the final lap, folks, because this is going to have to take a lot of work to be able to Catching up on one last Lamborghini, so this is going to have to take a lot of work to struggle. Okay, almost there. This is going to have to take one last chance that might be able to overtake the Black of Inventor. It's going to be quite pretty tough to do it, because taking a clean reach is going to have a lot of work to chance. So, luckily, using a support stop fire for the job, and then this is going to be able to have a one good successful rate to be able to get a good chance to win. But luckily, extra earnings seem to be fine, and there's going to be fun coming out for it. Alright, there you go. Lemakini Kutok anniversary model is in the lead, and this is going to be fun giving a good vegetable vehicle to be able to have the best checker flags around. So luckily, this is going to be quite very good to be similar to the original Kutok. So, this is going to be quite very good to be able to excellent performance that will speed things up. And also, give us a little bit challenging that we might be able to get stepped up on it. Perfect corner, and then this 
school might be even cheaper than bonnet. Now it looks like the Bandator is definitely need to stay on second place. So it looks like make way for the 25th and the first week King Tots to go first and then this is gonna be quite very excellent to be able to have the most difficult card that will challenge the most strongest Lamborghini cards in this event that will might be able to get a good chance for. Looking in onto the check flag. And looks like the classic could take on the winning goal on street number six. Now, looks like this is gonna be quite very excellent to be able to do it. Now, looks like he's gonna have to check on the race results. So, looks like two Benios is definitely quite coming up on seven through ninth place. So, looks like this is gonna be quite excellent to see it for it. Now, looks like also to giving a little standard earnings plus a car handicap by 20%. So, looks like this is gonna be quite excellent to be able to keep it up for it. So, even perhaps, daily workouts already complete, since taking a lot more warm-up practice to be able to get started for. Now, looks like it's time to get ready for the final round on race seven, is gonna be on Tokyo Expressway. So, looks like Sick Lap is gonna be able to do a lot more challenging to be able to do. So, looks like you're gonna have to keep using the Kuhn Kaj 25th anniversary, so this is gonna be able to have the perfect car to choose to be able to keep racing for it. So, luckily, other Lamborghini cars would like to be able to keep going, and then this will might be able to choose any vehicles that suit it out for. Alright, so, looks like this will be able to have different starting grids to be quite checking up as usual. So Fair has to keep an eye out on the Fanio if it might be quite coming in to be quite giving a chance for. Alright, so looks like the, the last three Fanios are starting out by last place, so looks like this is going to be quite very challenging to begin with. Now, looks like this one might need to have some settings that might be get everything to be prepared. Okay, so maybe just adding up a few extra horsepower would like to be able to do. Okay, just putting up 119 and maybe this is gonna be able to have 120 on the power ratio so this wheel might get better. So, looks like, let's go race number seven and then let's get prepared for a one city course challenge but luckily this time the headlights is definitely turned on. So this is going to be quite excellent, like a good but good thing that this is going to be a quite excellent headlight for the anniversary model. Okay, stay on it, it's a little bit scratched up on the wall, so this is much easier to get a look at the So, we're all glad that we're about to be able to reach the Tokyo Expressway with using Lamborghini model, so this is going to be challenging and also to take a lot more high speed skills so this will might be able to do a lot of work for any of these Lambo vehicles challenging all wheel drive vehicles. So looks like this is going to be able to get ready and then this will might be able to march ourselves before the band might come in for us because hypercars are definitely lucky to take the last place and will be so if they have start for it because this is Most other vehicles would like to be able to stay on it and this is all about taking struggles for having this track around. Okay, and then we can go stay cool. Approaching in on the hairpin and it's just going to be quite tightened up on it. Alright, stay for call. Now, looks like this is going to be quite better for it. Just going to be quite smooth up on it. Looking in on the 
pocket. The challenging Lamborghini Advantage course is definitely quite slightly easy and challenging that we might be able to get started. And also the Lamborghini Advantage it looks it looks quite very tougher to be able to get going. So it just might be needed to have extra horsepower that we might put up in the different category. That will be quite very excellent for a car. So going into the So that will might be quite game just simple ways to use it. Most tougher fast cars of the Lamborghini type of event that will might be able to get everything what you need to see if there are any performance on it. Alright, just gonna get to keep it up and then looks like it's getting closer because it looks like this is gonna have to take a lot of work to be able to do Okay, just gonna be able to keep it up. Okay, looks like we got something else. Just keep it up. 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 Bolting up, so looks like this might be able to go in. Alright, one more to go. Four second cap distance remaining. Because this is going to be able to do a lot more classic skills that might be able to do a lot more turns that might be able to step up on it. Now, looks like giving a one-time chance that we might be able to have some traits that we will be able to speed up to accelerate so gap distance will be decreased for a few seconds so it might be able to keep going and be very patient as whenever you need, might need to have a little focus that we will be able to have corners that you might need it for okay, that might be getting a little bit better chance to it Back onto the tunnel to do an expressway speed, do it. And this time, this will be able to have inside to avoid getting caught up in the scratches. Okay, and also the other part can be able to be the practice for it. Okay, there is one last abandoned tour. This will might do it. This will have to be able to get started for it. So, it's like the other Lamborghini tour. Trying to be able to keep buying some time to keep holding up the three Lamborghini abandoned Daniel hypercars. We will might be able to keep stepping up on it and then this will keep it maintained. Okay, almost there. Fair as we jump until the final lap comes. Because this might be able to have a lot of worth chance to be able to do it. Because this is how the classic car always becomes the one good anniversary addition becomes the one classic legend of the 1980s. Then here we go. The number six lap is gonna be on its way because this is gonna be able to have a one second flag to be able to see which one is the most strongest modern hypercar or a classic supercar that might be able to take a little bit and run to be able to keep it up on it. But luckily, this is gonna be able to have a little bit tougher choice to do it because this will have a lot of effort. 
Filing one second gap, this is going to take one final chance. The Cone Cottage anniversary could be able to take a lot of very good straighten up on the speed that will might be able to overtake one last time to the Venator that will be taking on the express away tunnel to be able to go in for. Then this road might be able to slide it up on it. Okay, excellent. Then goes right in and first place for the Kiwi Kiwi and the first remodel takes the lead. Now luckily that this is definitely quite very good to take an old school racing speed to begin with. Now looks like this is going to be able to take a little bit too much on the left. Many of are about to be coming close. This one might be to have to switch on for my interior view. So on top of the window, so it looks like there's some blue windshield has definitely shown. So you're thinking that you might see the sun in different windshield color a bit. But this is definitely quite very good. So I didn't realize that this this type of the blue shade is, is definitely quite very impressive, very intense. So no matter that this is going to be quite very cool to see this windshield effect on the Lamborghini Tucson anniversary model. So looks like race number seven has finally finished, and looks like four Lamborghini Aventadors have finally come made it at last. So it looks like three Vanios are about to be able to keep it well focused and stay maintained on it. So good thing that this is going to be a quite excellent good race. So that was a pretty good classic challenge that might be able to have the Countach to be in this event. Very good car and very classic to be able to race with the other Lamborghini models it is definitely quite giving a good worth of chance to do it. So looks like additional two rounds to be able to be done by now because this is going to be quite very amazing for. So, looks like for the next race, it's time to be with the continuing on by having four rounds on the Mercedes AMG Grand Prix. So, looks like this will be able to go back in on the F1 race. And then, also the Group 1 Cup will be able to get started for it. So right now, this is going to be the daily workout complete to receive a gift card for today. So luckily, there's going to be a Nissan GTR LMP1 is going to be coming in for it. But so close, but definitely got a Hunter uh, S660. But well, still got enough credits to be able to get one. But well, it's definitely important to save up for more credits for getting the Red Bull X2014 standard. Now, looks like this is going to be quite a very good race, and then this will be able to get ready to wrap this up to continuing on to get ready for. For AMG Formula One Grand Prix for tomorrow, so looks like this is gonna be quite excellent. Lamborghini Countach 25th anniversary is now definitely added in in GT Sport. Very good car and very good success rule to the original Lamborghini Countach. So looks like this is gonna be quite very excellent to have this one nice retro style 1988 supercar that might be able to have a lot of good skills to be able to race on new tracks for it. So, looks like this is going to be quite very good to be able to have the custom race between two Countaches anytime soon. So, looks like this is going to be quite very good for it. So well folks, glad that you really enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for reaching up 100 subscriber goals. And don't forget to leave a like and comment and also the bell for some notification uploads if you want to see and then the links on the description down below if you really want to see more well i'll be continuing on for the next gt league event on gran turismo sport and i'll see you guys next time you guys keep on racing stay cool